Hello and welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. With me now is Bracken Stewart from the Cross Country team. And first of all, thank you for joining me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about how you got involved with running and I guess now Cross Country. Okay, so uh, I guess I got involved running. I tried every other sport growing up. Um, and of course, football is like the biggest thing down south. So, but in 10th grade, um, my teacher was like, hey, who wants to do cross country? And I was like, hey, why not? Let's do it. I need to stay in shape anyways. So I did that, and it was the only sport where I had, like, immediate, like, a little bit of success. So, um, and then it wasn't, like, love at first sight or love, like, first running or whatever, but the more I did it, like, the more I got to love it. So That's good. And you talked about, you know, football being big in the South. So talk a little bit about your hometown and the traditions and things of sports there. Uh, shoot, my hometown, uh, my family does not run at all. Uh, we cook a lot, we eat a lot, and we watch football and, I mean, play basketball. I mean, we do everything, really. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We just hang out and do regular family things, take care of animals and stuff like that, have a lot of pets, but that's about it. And that was going to be one of my questions, you know, but you said nobody nobody really runs or anything, so do you have anybody in your family who plays other sports, or like, what really motivated you to be athletic in the family? Uh, I think my family just, I think some of us have a little fire in us, just a little bit of competitive edge where we don't like losing, I don't know, um, just something where we might have not been like the most popular at a sport or something, but when you're on the line, like everyone, me and my brother and my brothers taught me this growing up a lot is, you know, if you're on the line, like don't fear anybody because like you have just an opportunity as everyone else. You're there for a reason. So um, I don't know. You can compete with anybody, and I like that. So yeah. I think it's just about sports. I agree. What um what was like some of your other favorite sports in school before you know I guess you finally realized that cross country is what you were going to do? What would you have preferred to do? Um, I liked swimming a lot. I just wasn't that great at it compared to all the other swimmers. Um, so I grew up doing that a little bit, and soccer was probably my other favorite sport. Um, and I played that up until junior year and senior year. I quit to, in order to run and stuff. So. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, what point did you know for a fact, like, okay, cross country is what I'm going to do in college, and that's my um, number one, I guess, in sports. Well, I didn't really know what I was going to do. That was my dream until, like, up until junior year of college. I was, like, junior year, I was like, oh, I want to run. Like, this is what I want to do. Um, but so that's when the year that I was, like, senior year, I was like, I need to focus everything I got to running um, and not joke around and do all this other, like, I mean, it's fun stuff, but you have to make sacrifices, like, in order not to get hurt or something yeah. like that. So yeah. um, that was really senior year. Okay. So what, you know, what made you choose Troy? Like, how was that process? And, you know, picking, I'm sure everybody has a dream school, and then they have a school that, like, okay, I'm just going to go. So what made you choose Troy? Uh, well, I wasn't too good. I was pretty garbage. Um, <laughs> and actually, the coach here, um, thankfully he came here like that's been answered prayer but he inherited me so um, Troy was like one of the only schools that ever called me and they let me join or whatever so and then he came in coach Blount came in the summer before um, I got here freshman year and it was a totally different vibe for the team um, you know I was coming in expecting like oh I'm gonna be around like because I ran private school so it wasn't okay. like a bunch of competition um, as far as like people living the running life mm -hmm. and um, so I was like oh I'm gonna get to college people are gonna be about running like we can grow together um, but the vibe wasn't quite there and then once coach Blount got here he totally like changed around like the atmosphere and um, brought in some new guys um, as far as like the next freshman class after me mm -hmm. and we're, we're the ones that are really close and so Troy was kinda just like my only option as far as running goes and that's what my dream was and um, Coach Blount was good enough to stick it out with me a little bit and keep the faith with me. Um, so yeah, and then I'm, I'm glad. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else with Troy, especially with all the all the guys on the team. So I'm glad. I'm I'm glad you did make this decision. But what if you had a choice back then? Yeah. What would have been like your dream school, like some school you wanted to go to? I guess since you were younger. Oh uh, well, 
I probably shouldn't say it on the air now, <laughs> but my dream school was Boise State. Oh, um, no. Yeah, I fell in love with their blue football field when I was little. And I went out there to just, like, look at the canvas when I was really young. And I, I thought it was really cool. And it was away from home, away from the South. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I knew I wouldn't run there or anything. But um, I'm, I'm glad I came back to, I came to Troy. Um, it's definitely been the best fit for everything. So. I agree. So what, what was that, you know, that recruitment process like? Um, you said that um, Coach Blount wasn't there when you first got here, yeah. your freshman year. So what was, you know, that whole you being a freshman and getting comfortable and getting to know the coaches and know the, the players and your teams and um, waking up at different times in the workouts? How did, how did that go as a freshman? Um, it wasn't too bad because I was so excited about being on the team. Um, I just love the team aspect, and that's why I like cross country especially. Um, but as far as like waking up, going to practice, I enjoyed it all. Um, wasn't really too big of a deal. But the only thing was like we had 20, around like 20 to 22 people in my class that were recruited mm. and people were cut. So by last year, which was my senior year, there was four of us left. So, and I'm the only one still rocking it. So, <laughs> Well, kudos to you because no. I don't think I could do it. But what what is like your training? You know, how did your training change from high school? I guess it was a little bit different to coming to a D1 school. I know they're, you know, big on how you eat and yeah. how well you train. So how did that change? Uh, I guess so junior year of high school is when I actually started training with a coach. Um, and he got me used to like the college training styles to where I wasn't like shocked um, the amount of running. But when I got to college, it was more, and especially preached by Coach Blinds, more of the little things than I expected, like eating, um, but um, just like taking care of your body, stretching, um, doing like little drills before and after running um, to get your body ready for like a workout and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was all the little stuff instead of just going into a run, um, but taking care of all the little things to where they add up to where it can make a difference at the end of a race and stuff so yeah and now i was gonna say you know kind of walk us through like uh, a weekly routine for you like in the morning you are eating light or you're eating heavier like when is your you know the time where you can cheat i guess on the okay. weekends you have sweets or something um all right so in a week usually we wake up wake up like 5 20 and go to practice at six and so i usually eat like half a granola bar when i wake up and then i go work out we usually have two workouts, two hard workouts a week, one long run on Sunday. But every other run is just like either a 50 minute, just easy run or a double, one run in the morning, one in the afternoon. So after practice, when I get back, I usually eat oatmeal. I eat as much as I want, but I really, do, I mean, I don't eat that much, I don't know. But um, then lunch, you know, just regular. Dinner is where I guess I eat a little bit more maybe, like, eat what I want but yeah. as far as cheating goes after a race definitely <laughs> right after the race especially if you have a good one go get you maybe a milkshake or something if it, only it was really good um but yeah get you a burger or something because yeah and I mean you you definitely deserve it you you just hit your second individual victory and I think that is so good especially for this program and so kind of talk about how that feels and you know what's your next step for the rest of the season um yeah so that was like that was my real goal this whole season. I mean, I haven't won a race since being here, and my goal was to win one. And my goal this whole season, whether any race or we're going to a big meet or small meet, is to just run to win. Like, I might lose, I might whatever, but I'm going out there to run to win and um, just give it my all and, like, have complete faith that it can happen because I think anything can happen. You just got to trust the process. But... Um, yeah, so I got my first win, and that was a huge blessing, um, just like a confidence booster. I mean, like, like I finally like did something like that I've been dreaming about forever, you know. Um, and then the second win, I know going into that race, I was like, I don't want to be just like, just win, run away, win uh, one race, and people be like, oh yeah, it was just like, it was like the first race of the season, you know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a, a lot of huge teams there, so I was like. Well, shoot, I want to show people, like, I can do it back to back. Right. You know? And then the third race coming up or any other race, like, I want to keep doing it. Um, I believe winning is a habit, as Coach Blount would say. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I just, I think that, like, 
running the race, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't all my ability because, as I told you before, I'm, I was, I'm not the most talented runner. Um, I think that, um, you know, I, I believe that God said that um, he'd give you the desire and the strength to accomplish his will. And I think um, he definitely gave me the desire for it because it's like what I think about all the time. And, um, but I believe he'll give me the strength to it. And it might not be to win, but I'm, I'm going to act like it is and pursue that. So, yeah. So I've definitely gotten that. And I don't know. I guess that's it. <laughs> I beg to differ. I think you are a fantastic runner, and you really helped this program tremendously. So congratulations on your wins, and thank, thank you, you again. Um, do you have any what – are, what are some of your plans after school? Uh, well, I'd like to keep just like training and running, maybe help if I, I get a degree to teach. So if I do that, I like to coach, um, but still training and running and, uh, going and just competing in as many races as I can, I guess. Um, but I don't know, definitely moving away a little bit and I don't know, really, I'm just, I know I'm supposed to be right here at Troy and whatever guy shows me after, um, school will be what I take, but it might be might be teaching, it might be going in a mission field, it might be um, just going out to a random city and just training, I don't really know. So we'll see where where he leads me. But All right, well, best of luck to you. And again, congratulations Appreciate and it. thank you so much for all your hard work. Thank you. Stay tuned for what is coming up in Trojan Sports right after this.